Uranus locked all the Cyclopes away with the other Titans, huh? Yes. He was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpappy made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. <laughs> Get it? Uh, the birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpappy Uranus and my dead big dad, Kronos, had a battle so great it severed heaven from Earth. That's not all that was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Hang on, there was no... <clears throat> the pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. Yeah. <laughs> 
From the sea foam, Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. And then you would believe that it was why this fell into the sea and That's... Because Kronos cut off his... <gasps> You're sick, Prometheus! Do not talk to me! With the sea foam secure... Ah! Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the vault. You've returned, you sweet creature! <gasps> Do you have the sea foam? Right here! Oh, aren't you good? Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. Now quick, pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No! There's too many godly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. And those noses. Those quivering wet noses. like you, though I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his raids. And that raid delegates responsibility, as raids tend to do, to shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're telling me. He's hiding in a lair nearby, until he's defeated. His shades will reappear on this part of the island. <laughs> 
Is there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked and uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' leg. I can't help but the other three rays, though, Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Oh, you know what they say, bad things come in fours. No one says that. No one says that! Tough crowd. What about the root blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone, so I'm quite keen to- No. No. Uh, for some reason, that root is still firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. All the animals will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... That was strange. I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful, snarky self before I go crazy! By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your stories, kid. Her tears just might work. If you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Now where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. All right. We have a plan, then. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? And he's gone. the deeds of golden Aphrodite, who subdues mortal men and birds in air, and the creatures on land and sea. Grant me a song. Stir up my sweetest passions. Hey, watch it, buddy. That's my daughter-in-law you're talking about.
Hey there. You're in bad shape. Too proud to quit, huh? Well, so am I. Phoenix! Stay away from that thing! What are you doing here? I saw the lightning strike. Naturally, I came right away to finish the job. Easy kills are a specialty of mine. Why am I not surprised? Well, I'm saving the bird, and I won't take no for an answer. No! It's a creature of Typhon! Wait, I'm having a vision? You're going to say... But it needs our help. Then I'll say, it's just waiting to kill us as soon as it has a chance. Then you'll say, Hermes, please, don't make me blackmail you. I'll tell Hera what you did. Then I'll say, you wouldn't. But I know deep down you would, so I agree to help you. All the while, looking for an opportunity, as soon as you let your guard down, to strike. Well, you got me cornered, kid. For now. Since Typhon brought that thing out of Tartarus, you'll need food from down there to revive it. The same food Hades fed to Persephone. Seeds of the dead. I only know of one on the island. Then I'm going to get that seed. Sit tight. Me or the bird? Because I don't think that thing can sit. <laughs>
Hey, proud guy. I've got the... Seed. I'm sorry, kid. Come on, we'll go get some drumsticks. They're on me. Oh, well, that makes things easy. We got the drumsticks right here. Proud fellow. Kind of a stuck up rare breed typhon lit on fire, huh? If you please, Your Excellency. I'm going to name him Phosphor. After Phosphorus, the morning star. Phosphor says that he's still weak and needs to regain more strength. He'd like to offer to help you on your journey to repay the debt for saving his life. He, uh, <clears throat> also loves the new nickname. Like, really loves it. Don't you, Fosfo? I told you this was the right decision. Helping an evil undead bird? Brilliant. I take it all back. You were totally on the money. That beautiful bird is offering to take us to Daedalus's secret treasure room. No way! The genius inventor who built this island! The one and only. He says there's a pile of Electrum with my name on it. <coughs> oh, yes. There's also a second seed of the dead that can make Phosphor stronger than ever. Would you look at that? Doing good deeds results in good deeds in return. Who would have thought? Is that a trick question? Because the answer is clearly, no one. So, there are two clues that lead to this treasure room we need to find. And by we, I mean you. One is near the Dracon Bones, the second is near the Aqueduct. Isn't that right, Phospho? I told you he adores his new nickname, right? <laughs> 